Okay, so here we go. We're working on the FE heads. I've finished this head. I got to clean it and put it back together. But as you can see, here's my spacing on my dividers. So if we switch over to the other head, this will give you an idea of how much I've opened it up. Now, let me lay this down. Now that's just laying it straight across. Part of that's to the bottom, but the majority of it's to the top. I raised the roof up a little bit on this one. And everything else I've done has been down inside on the short turn radiuses. Actually down in here on the short turn side of things. All right, let me take this pair of dividers here and I'm gonna use them for a uh, pointer. All right, the main thing I did inside is I cleaned up this bowl area. Right here is a little, traditionally a little restrictive on these heads. I went ahead and opened this up. Same thing on the exhaust side. Oops, I'm blocking it again. Same thing on the exhaust side. I need to touch the valve job back up, but we'll cover that later in the video. But there it is. I still need to come in and take this little sharp edge off here and here. And this one just needs a good cleaning and reassemble it. And then here's a shot mm, of the exhaust side. After I cleaned it up, a little flashlight here. Put it up in there. There you go. That's the finished exhaust port. And the short turns down here where the flashlight is, that's the short turn radius right there heading into the valve where you can see the flashlight popping through. And I raised the roof up and just kept the factory installed twist. These heads always seem to work good with that twist left intact up to so. a certain. Anyway, that's where we're at on this one. This little spot right here, I gotta come back and clean up a little bit in here. There's a little bit of a rough spot in there. I don't wanna smooth it up. I still gotta polish it out. It's right in there. But anyway, there we go. Okay, so now we're ready to clean these things up. So I've gone ahead and stamped the numbers on the cylinder. Now, this is not the actual cylinder number. This is just referencing this head. So this head can still go on either side of the engine. But that way we know what valves go in which head. Because when we go out and clean it, we're going to lose our Sharpie marks. And we need to keep that in mind so we can get the valves and the spacers back in the hole that they go in so we're not changing the valve job. Now I gotta clean off the rough dust that's on it right now. As you can see, all that shavings and all is back there. And that's not what's already been sucked up by the vacuum. That same stuff's down inside those valve guides. So I gotta get all that out. Then I can put a little bit of luber plate on the valves, relap, relap the seats on each valve and then go ahead and do a final clean and then put this head back together and this one's ready to go with the last thing being the stamp that I ported them and the job number on the end of the head. And I always do them on opposite ends that way if the customer wants to put them towards the back of the motor for show purposes or whatever they can, but it's still there to know that it was done by me, so. Now something else that's really good to have when you're cleaning these heads it, in any engine work for that matter is a good set of rifle brushes now i'm deliberately not laying them down on the porting mat here because i don't want them to get the little metal shavings in them no worse than they have to but they're not very long they're about a foot long a piece and they're great for going into valve guys now this one's a little bigger you can use this one for getting up inside the exhaust side and cleaning the ports out a little bit but stuff gets in every nook and cranny and you need to get it out and all it takes is one little bit of this shavings down here, or worse, just a little piece of the grit off of one of these sand rolls can take out a whole engine. So, you know, surgically clean is the goal, though no engine assembly area is ever really surgically clean for the most part. Some come real close, but you want to keep that in mind. You want it as clean as absolutely possible. And then the other thing that's handy is a good set of these little number stamping dies. And I'll probably film putting the final stamps on the end of the head. I've already done this head. We'll get it stamped up and then I'll do the other head. Okay, so we're done porting. 
we're done cleaning the first go around. So what we're going to do now is take a little luber plate. We're going to take our bags that we clearly marked as to what cylinder they go to. And uh, here's my number one on the driver's side head. Okay, so I've already done the exhaust valve. Now I'm going to do the intake valve. Take a little bit of luber plate. I'm going to put it down here on the far end of the stem. So when it goes in, it lubes the whole thing. Lubes the whole guide. And then we'll take just a little bit of valve lapping compound. And go around this outside edge. And this is a uh, fine valve lap and come because these are brand new heads. It's a fresh valve job. We're just touching up any nicks that might have got in there during the porting. Confirm the seats. And we just go ahead and drop this in. So here we go. We're putting it back together. And I almost forgot to comment on it. But... Remember when I was bagging everything up when we were first starting out on this project? And here I am on the fourth cylinder on this head. MTFE build number 398, passenger side number four. And I said, you, know, you put it all in the bag and it keeps it organized. Well, here I've already started putting it back together. And uh, let me get the camera turned around here and I'll see if I can't film putting this last one back in. Okay, so I've already put the spacer and the valve seal back on this one. And this is what's nice about keeping it bagged up. I already know that that shim needs to go under that plate. This valve goes in this hole. It's time to go ahead and put it back together. So I'll get a little bit of luber plate. And the trick is to lube up this keyway pretty good. Now they make little sleeves that go over these valves when you put them in. It's supposed to keep from cutting the seals. But the old way of doing it still seems to work pretty good and in this case that's the way i'm doing it because i don't have one of those little tools is you go ahead put the valve in push it up till you feel it start touching and then just kind of spin it as you push up on it and it'll roll right past the lip of that seal it's one of the things that i do it when i have to i use the other thing if i have it in this case i don't have one so, then you roll the head over. Let me reposition the camera here. Let's get me a nice dollop of this wheel bearing grease here. This old machinist trick for putting valves together. Go ahead and work that grease right around that groove. Now, what that's going to do is get a valve lock, something to hold on to. Then you go ahead and get your valve spring and your retainer. Slide it over, make sure it's on the seat. Put your valve spring over. And it's just a reverse of taking it apart. Get the locks up here where they're easier to get a hold of. And you go ahead and set your locks. Ease it on out. And there's another valve in. Now we got one more to go. And again, just grab the bag. You already know where it goes. You've already lapped the valve. And there's your retainer. Go ahead and drop everything off. Flip the head over. Make sure you got your this side up. Set your seat down or your uh, spring seat down. Go ahead and push your valve seal on. Okay, got your valve seal in. Everything's seated up. Go ahead and roll the head back over. 
get some luber plate get the groove bring the rest down smear it around a little bit go through till you feel it touch twist it there goes that side wipe the luber plate off because it'll keep the grease from sticking to the valve get you a finger full of grease need a little bit more takes care of that okay then we got to put the valve spring in and retainer fell off when you look at these springs look for the inside coil it's called a dampener coil and it should be seated to the bottom so it's going to go towards the head that means the retainer goes on the top go ahead get everything in the seat Bring the compressor over again. Spin it over. Put it out. Now we got both of those valves in. We're gonna spin the head over. Take your hammer and lightly give it a tap. And give it a tap. What that does is seat your keepers. And there you go. These heads are all put back together. I didn't film the cleaning them part because well, I was just scrubbing them. There's one set of valve springs put on and they're ready to go back home and get put on their engine that they're hopefully going to be on for a long time. Hope you found that entertaining, interesting, informative. This is just part two of the FE build. We'll get to some more of it here in the near future as we go ahead and continue with the build. So, as always, practice your skills. Think out of your box. Learn new skills. Turn them into craftsmanship. You never know how far they'll take you. This has been Fab Race Mod Repeat. Mm-hmm.